so we what we are going to have in the output parameters oh, wait observable okay it's still not there collection okay of customer it's not there oh, wait and we are going to say get and private set all right. all right so we have input and output you know so what's next so in our constructor okay we are going to init i mean update these values so here we have our free command equal to let's say new relay command which we have created in our uh, you know command manager and uh, it's again expecting an action so again you need to go back and brush upon your action so here uh, we can pass two things we can have pass the action and we can also pass both action and predicate but right now we are just going to go ahead with action so uh, it, uh, goes to all right so what we are going to do is right now we are going to update our customers we will say customer equals to our service dot game okay we don't just want to create an object we just let's make this one as static static all right public static i enable customers get all customers so let's try again oh man do i don't want to you know compile again service dot okay i have we have to rebuild so the access will modify then property index here well so we'll just see public public build well uh, this is done now so our customer equal to service dot e. what's wrong man let's let's just try this we'll see what happens Existing then get all customer doesn't. What does this? We will just see. Okay. Wait for this moment. 
calculated v or you will refactor that on some little point of time okay let's go step by step so we'll stay customer list equals to okay and now we'll say new actual selection of customer which is expecting what I never will of customer collection so we'll just pass it off here right and uh, well uh, this is done but uh, this is not yet complete right now because whenever right now our customer property has been changed and we want to update ui okay this has been changed so uh, we as we have already created a base entity for this so uh, we are just going to notify using that okay so notify Uh, property changed okay here we have changed our customers uh, let's say customers okay customers all right let's okay I'm sorry it succeeded right now uh, we have everything for our sample MBV application it's taking up time but you know yes we need to have the patience so right now we have a command manager model service view view model and everything ready so let's go and see this in action so what we're going to do is right now uh, sorry we have to go to our view All right So right now let's uh, have a grid. No. All right. So this is the grid which is bound to our customers. Yep. So this is our customer. All right. And uh, we will have a button. Okay. Um, okay. Right. Equal to fifty. Right. Equal to hundred. Content is. Oh, sorry. Content is get records all right and we are going to have the command here command oh. binding we are going to bind to our command so click command all right Content okay, okay not, not a problem we'll just fight it again content is get records right so let's build it
will succeed it let's run it so we click on get records okay nothing is happening this is okay Constructor so this dot data context equal to new model What's wrong? Oops, view model you say namespace. let's click on get records yes so you know this is it right now we have our very simple MBVM application so we have uh, you know our view we have our model we have our view model so again you know they, they those are bits and pieces they can need I mean few behaviors few operations few attributes from others like model depends on service and our uh, view model depends on the command manager model also depends on our you know the base entity so you know those are bits of the pieces so after doing everything this is our simplest you know uh, MBVM sample application so hope you know it's it's a little bit longer uh, demonstration but hope it helps you to create a very simple uh, you know mbvm based application and it is it, it will definitely help you to get you started with your uh, mbvm application creation thank you for watching uh, thanks for your time if you need more videos more tutorials please come back thanks for watching have a good day thank you bye